Tremix Process Basic 8 Steps of Tremix Fixing of Guide Rails Deep Vibration and Spreading of Concrete Surface Vibration, Leveling Vacuum Dewatering Surface Checking and Adjustment of the Surface Flatness Power Floating Surface Power Troweling Surface Surface curing. One fixing of guide rails. Fix rails using MS channels, 4 meters apart. Ensure channels are straight and applied with shuttering oil. Fix inner straight lines using a line dory. Take levels as per the required slope. Fix rails using concrete grout. Install dowels as per required diameter and spacing. Install expansion joints, as required. 2. Spreading of concrete and deep vibration. Pouring the concrete and spreading using shovels. Always use Boca vibrator. Ensure proper vibrating done on sides, near rails. 3. Surface vibration. Leveling. Perform surface vibration using double beam screed vibrator. Run over the guide rails twice to achieve maximum compaction. Pulling speed of vibrator depends on the consistency of concrete. The initial speed should be approximately 1 meter per minute. 4. Vacuum dewatering. Place the filter pads with an overlap of at least 15 centimeter. Roll out the pads as flat and straight as possible. Check that the vacuum gauge on the vacuum pump after placing and sealing of the top cover. Normal suction time, at least 1.5 to 2 minutes per centimeter concrete thickness. 4. Vacuum dewatering pump Is the core of the system. A pump unit is mounted on a transportation trolley. Tilda 20 square meter of freshly laid concrete can be dewatered with one set mat. Usually pump is 7.5 hours power with a three-phase electric motor. 4. Vacuum dewatering mat Suction mat, a special nylon filter mat is fixed on a top plastic mat. Top plastic mat is a junction box and is connected to the pump via a hose. 5. Checking and adjustment of the surface flatness. Check and, if necessary, adjust the flatness of the surface immediately after vacuum dewatering with a straight edge, bull float. Use special shoes or wooden planks when stepping on the concrete. 6. Power floating surface. Power floating can start immediately after the checking. Adjustment. Work zigzag at the screed rail. Areas that cannot be reached by the skim floater should be floated with a hand float before power troweling. Use floater till no major marks, lines, circles appear anymore. 7. Power troweling. Rough troweling The first troweling pass is carried out 15 to 30 minutes after finished floating. Final troweling The last troweling pass should be started 30 minutes after rough troweling. Ensure final finish, smooth, line or roughed as required. 8. Curing Ensure proper curing for minimum 7 days. No loads should be applied on the concrete surface.